Hello everybody, and welcome back to Asagao Academy Normal Boots Club. Last time we were playing some video games with the Normal Boots Club. With everybody. And John got a little demonic. No big deal. Uh, this time I believe we are starting a tournament. Starting the tournament that was announced. I thought it was going to be held in a more academic or official setting, but apparently it's in their room. So, you know, that's just, just great. People played one-on-one -on -one matches against each other, slowly thinning out the competition over time. I went before me, and was, rather unfairly, paired against Jared. Every blow he doled to her was, in her mind, some form of actual physical contact. At least, judging by the way she was shivering when she was hit. When she was hit, it was. Okay, it was. I feel like there should be a comma there. Unsurprisingly, she, did al she died almost immediately. I was the last person set to go against PBG. The others chuckled as we were past the controllers. <laughs> Don't worry, PBG. No, that's wrong. Don't worry, Hannah. PBG is the easiest of all of us. You're bound to beat him. Aw, oh, come on, guys. Don't worry, Hannah. I'll go easy on you. I nodded as PBG picked the most level playing field. A small platform floating in space. Final destination. The match started and PBG graciously held his player still. Go ahead and test your moves. You're a great friend. Aw, oh, that's real nice of you, PBG. Yes, real nice. I tested my moves and while doing so, my hand brushed against the yellow stick. Turby did a menacing low kick and my eyebrows raised. That looked... Powerful. Smash attack. Ready to go? Yeah! Why? <laughs> I always do that voice instead. I don't know why. Uh. I think so. There we go. That's better. PBG charged at me across the screen, and when he came close enough for me to hit, I pushed the yellow stick in his direction. He flew across, across the screen. My mouth fell open. PVG grit his teeth. Ugh. I see how it is. No more Mr. Nice Guy, then. I partially doubted that PVG had a non-nice bone in his body, but the match had begun. It was a long battle. A surprisingly long battle. We seemed to be evenly matched. Right up until the very end. And when I smacked him off the screen with Turby's hair... Uh, oh, sorry. When I smacked the screen... Uh, we seemed to be evenly matched right up until the very end, when I smacked him off the screen with Turby's hair. Uh, it's quite the... Quite the sound effect. I don't know why that would play at the end of a winning match. Or the end of a match. It's not like... It's only him that hears the sound effect, and eh, whatever. Huh, what? I set the controller down quietly, not particularly happy about be having crushed PBG in my second ever match of Stomp. PBG nodded solemnly. <sighs> I guess I lost then. Whoa! Whoa! That peaked. Hannah, that was, that was some natural born talent right there. <laughs> I I don't really think so. Anyway, the next match is Shane versus Paul. PBG remained quiet for a while after that. It wasn't until the third round that he joined in again, cheering with the rest of the guys. My match rolled around, but this time I was against Jared, and this time I lost in only a few minutes. I set the controller down again, 
happy to no longer have responsibility over the life and death of inanimate pixels. Pixels. Pictures. As I did so, I saw Paul lean in to whisper something to Shane, whose eyes flew wide open, and his face shut down. <laughs> Over my dead body. Over my dead body. Their eyes slid to me, and I looked away. They were talking about me, weren't they? I scooted over to Mai, feeling more comfortable near her than near any of the guys. We cheered for Jared right up until the very end. He lost to a supernaturally agile Shane, who was seemingly fueled by the rage of a thousand demonic toddlers. Everyone, that was a great round. Looks like we're in even better shape than last year. <laughs> well, all of us except BBG. That was uncalled for. Uh, totally deserved. Anyways, I'm tired, so get out of my room. Please. He grinned broadly. I'm suddenly the vampire. Zracula. Zracula. With a Z. He grinned broadly, not finding anything wrong with how he summarily dismissed us. Mai and I gathered our things and left the room with the others, who, laughing and joking, dispersed in all different directions. Together we shuffled home. We fell through the doorway exhaust, with barely enough energy to change our PVGs. Mai leaped onto her bed with a happy sigh. Oh, Hannah, I'm so glad you came to Asagao. As if this could, couldn't have happened without me here. Mai shoved her face into a pillow and emitted a muffled reply. <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. I fell onto my bed, staring at the rungs that kept May and her mattress from collapsing onto me and smothering me to death in the night. I don't think that would happen, though. Doesn't seem very logical. <laughs> that was really fun. Video games are fun, Mai. Really? Yeah, you can answer. She shuffled around on top of the on top of her bed. I mean, I thought it was okay. It was passable. I don't know if I'd call it super fun or anything. You know what's fun? Getting fucked. Really? <laughs> really? That's fun? No? I loved it! <laughs> she chuckled. Seems like you've found your calling. Ha ha ha! I'm sure I have. Above me, my yawn. Let's just go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. I'm exhausted. Smiling, I got up and turned out our light. Good night, Hannah. Good night, Mai. As the chill weather of early spring faded and warmth stretched across Asagao, I itched to go outside. With Satch's book in hand, I took to the streets. Since many people realized how rare this mo moment was, most of the usual benches and grassy spots were taken. I kept walking until I came to the soccer field. There was a practice game being held. PBG and his friend Jeff were running across the field. Being a skirmish... What? What's, is, that a, is that a soccer thing? A skirmish? The bleachers were almost completely empty. Or maybe that's a match thing? Like it just means a little practice match between the same team. Students sc scattered the shiny metal seats, but... There was more than enough room for me. In one swift motion, practiced many times over my life, I sat down, spun my backpack into the space next to me, and pulled out my books. I was nearly done with it, and I wanted to see if I could finish it today. It was 
do a few days ago, so I was under pressure. At a pause in my reading, I looked up to watch PBG on the field. A shock of color at the base of the bleachers caught my eye. It looked like some kind of metallic candy wrapper. And a pang of annoyance struck me. There was a trash can nearby. Why litter? litter? Because people are assholes. First-hand experience here. Let's just throw this garbage right next to the garbage can, because fuck society or something, rather. I don't know. But as I jumped down the steps of the bleachers and nearly slipped off one, it became clear that it wasn't trash. The colors changed as the angle of the light did. It was, a, it was an iridescent purple figure. Itty bitty and a kitty. Was it Jared's? He was the only person I knew who collected them, even though he was trading earlier with people. So, you know, they collect them. I held it up to the nearest student and shook his head. Sorry about that, just a little interruption. Had to set up a computer for my brother. Uh, anyways, back where we were. I held it up to the nearest student, who shook his head. I was free f Excuse me. I was free for a while. Jared was really into IBK scene. Into the IBK scene. Itty bitty kitty. There we go. So, if it wasn't his, he'd probably know who, who it belonged to. What a problem. I had no idea where his room was. Conveniently at the moment, PBG ran off the field to get a drink. I approached him, holding the kitty in front of myself like a talisman. Hey! Hey, PBG, do you know where Jared's room number is? Do you know what Jared's room number is? Do you know Jared's room number? I think he dropped this. I held the kitty up and it glimmered in the sun much like PBG. Just now. What with all his physical activity, he looked so sweaty and hot. <clears throat> Oh, Jared was just here. It has to be his. Gerard, not Jared. I asked him to bring me a goal me my goalie gloves. I wasn't ready to take McJones's place today. His room is right next to mine. It's right right across from my, mine. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Hey. Hurry it up, PBG. <sighs> PBG groaned. It wasn't much of a break. See ya. Gotta go. Good luck. He took a huge gulp from his water bottle, then poured the rest on his head and jumped back into the game. His teammates patted him on the back as he rejoined them. I placed the itty bitty kitty into my uniform's lily baton pocket. Is that like a. Is that a type of pocket or. Like a type of hand? I don't know. And headed to Bluebell. As I entered Bluebell's house, a passing boy frowned at me. Was I even allowed to be here by myself? I shook my head. There was no time to be afraid. Today I had a mission. Just as PBG had said, there was a door right across his room. I knocked and fished the itty bitty kitty from my pocket. Shane answered the door, not at all pleased to see me. Um... Uh, hi Shane, how are you? He was Jared's roommate. Why, oh well. Oh, why, oh why was he Jared's roommate? That's how you pronounce those, those <laughs> words in that order. I tried to laugh to defuse the situation, but it was weak. I felt like I was the only thing making things worse. I didn't know what went on in Shane's mind. He looked at the itty bitty kitty in my hands. Jared should be back in a few moments. A few minutes. A few minutes. Okay, I'll just wait in the common room when he gets back. Can you tell him to try and find me? I could read downstairs. I could read. Okay, I got it. I could read downstairs. Even if it took Jared an hour to get back, I could keep myself occupied. <sighs> Shane sighed and leaned against the doorframe. 
I could tell him, but it would be much easier if he just waited in here. He put his hand out, gesturing me inside. Oh, all right, thanks. It's a nice room, I like it. I entered the room and stood smack in the middle of it. Shane plopped into a chair in front of what must have been his desk. I sat down in what I assumed to be Gerard's chair on the opposite side. Shane swilled around and started to click something on his laptop. Seeing as he wasn't much for small talk, I turned into observing the room. The room was well decorated, one could say. There was a lot of itty bitty kitties, each arranged neatly, with its brethren of similar design. Every empty space not filled with school-related objects was covered by the pads of cute little cats. The pads of a cute little cat. There we go. I was missing the A there. Or at least the sealed box of one. Even parts of Shane shells had itty-bitty kitties on them. I had to admit, it was kind of embarrassing. In not embarrassing. Endearing. Maybe I just thought it was embarrassing. That's why I said that. Something about the dedication required was sweet. Hey! Do you collect itty bitty kitties too? Not really. They're Jared's. I don't mind. Gerard's. I don't mind. I see. It's kind of niche. I'm surprised you're into them. Oh no, I don't collect them. I just found one on the side of the field. PBG said Gerard was there earlier, so I came to find out whether it was his. My hastiness to disown the figure did not go unnoticed by Shane, who made a face at me. If it's not Jared, he'll probably know who is it is, right? It's probably Jared's. I smothered my thumb over the plastic kitty absentmindedly. They look rather plush to be plastic. Shane returned to what he was doing online, and I conversed with the figure in my hand. Who's a pretty kitty? Who's a pretty kitty? You are! That's really creepy. Gerard came back two, about two minutes later. Hey, Shane! And Hannah? He held two coffees in his hands. Suddenly he turned pink. And what are you two doing in here? Alone, together, hmm. far away from each other, not interacting at all. We're not doing anything, and I was looking for you. Really? How can I help, Hannah? He gave a coffee to Shane and offered the other one to me. Here, take mine. I would have gotten you one too if I knew you were here. That's really nice of you, but no thanks. I just came to see if this was yours. For what felt like the tenth time in the last hour, I displayed the itty bitty kitty. Oh wow! Oh yes! Gerard... Just keep on saying Gerard. Almost dropped his coffee as he leapt forward. I lost this today, where did you find it? I was near the field. PVG told me you were there earlier, so I wanted to give it back to you. I handed the figure to Gerard, who looked about it, ready to kiss it. You're the best! No, that's not right. Who looked about ready to kiss it. There we go. You're the best! Thank you. I just, let's just hear that again. You're the best! Thank you. You're the best! Yeah, you're so great, Jared. Gerard. You're the best! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you. I... Didn't have to. You didn't have to do this, but you did, and I don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs> it wasn't any trouble at all. It looked pretty rare. They're special. It's not as rare as you would think, but it's very special to me. I'm. I'm so glad you were able to find you. Jesus, I'm so glad you were the one to find it. I should have been. I shouldn't have been so careless. Don't beat yourself up about it. What matters now is that you have it back. <laughs> Maybe zip up your pockets next time. I promise. You better take a load of precautions to make sure this never happens again. He placed it delicately on the shelf with the other kitties that had the same 
iridescent properties. Gerard looked at me while I viewed his hard-earned assemblage. Right! Oh, uh, duh, Gerard, you dummy. How rude of me not to at least introduce you to my collection. Sorry. Because I'm clearly incredibly interested. In this room, I have 247 itty-bitty kitties of every shape and size. I feel like there should be some hyphens there. Definitely between 2 and 100. There should be 2 dash hyphen, or, or 2 hyphen 100. And I think 47 should have a hyphen too. Never mind. Itty bitty kitties of every shape and size. This is the newest set. The catastrophes. Is that, is that actually? Yeah. Oh, the catastrophes. Got it. They're a band. They're really popular right now. I traded my rare extras for these the other day. The one you brought back to me is a set of four that are called the Opalescents. Apparently they're the only shinies. They were so pretty, my gaze fixated on them. Sorry. They were so pretty, my gaze fixated on them. I'm just missing the last Opalescent. It's a purple one. Princess Pumpernickel. <laughs> Pumpernickel. I tried everywhere, but no one has them in stock. But there's only three copies in the world, so it's really not that surprising. It's more surprising that I managed to get these ones. I have one of the most complete collections in the world. People think that the Kitties Company gives me the newest figures, but I earn all of my itty bitty committees. Committees. Itty bitty kitties. Sorry, I'm thinking about titties. Not committees. Not kitties. There we go. I can tell this took a lot of hard work. I'm amazed at how much effort you put into this. <sighs> he sighed heavily and sat down on the Complete bed. it! <laughs> uh huh. Thanks, Anna. I just wish I could get every last figure. I could finish my collection and the kitties would have all their friends together in one place. I wish I could, Hal. Don't worry about it, Hannah. This is my battle to fight. I nodded, then glanced at my watch. See you later. Oh, I should go. I really wanted to finish my book today. But if you ever need help, I'm here. I stood up and waved to them both. Bye! To both of them. Bye, Hannah. Thanks again. Bye. See ya. Thankfully, I managed to finish my book. It took more time than I expected, though. And by the time I got back to my room, it was dark outside. When I opened the door to my room, the lights were off. I flicked them on and huddled the form, huddled and huddled the form of my hugging a stuffed purple bear appeared. Eight, and the huddled form. There we go. That makes more sense. And the huddled form of my hugging a stuffed purple bear appeared on her bed. Hello. I'm back. Mai glanced at me, then buried her face again in her bear. Was she sulking? It was unlike her to be so un unenergetic. Um, are you okay? <laughs> that doesn't sound very okay. Mai glanced at me, her face a light shade of pink, like she was holding her breath. You know, you can tell me anything. You've told me out a lot, so it's the least I can do in return, right? Besides, we're friends. My sigh and threw the bear on the floor, where it lay as if screaming in agony. It's not fair. Uh. She sighed again. I know it's terrible to think like this, but... Even though I'm really happy for you getting to be friends with those guys, it's just not fair. Those guys? Who? The Normal Boots Club? I can't believe this. It's just that I've been a fan of them for so long and, they've lo and I've loved Jared forever and then you come here out of the blue with your pink hair and just like that you're friends. She snapped her fingers in front of her face. But here I've been trying this whole time, and Jared didn't even know my name. I know I'm being stupid, and I feel bad, but still... My... 
they're your friends too. My smiled weakly at me. Mm. They wouldn't be my friends if it wasn't for you. My. I'm going to sleep. She turned over and closed her eyes without even taking off her uniform. I turned off the light and walked to the bear she threw in the middle of the room. I'm sorry to... I said it quietly, but even the words, even as the words left my lips, I knew they were a lie. I think that's where we're going to end it for today. Due to that very long break in the middle, I'm really not sure how long this episode is, but anyways. If you like this video, feel free to like this video. If you dislike this video, feel free to dislike this video. Although, if you dislike this video, I would really, really enjoy if you could comment as to why you disliked it. Even if it's just my voice. If you want, you can share this video on social media and, and favorite it. And you could also subscribe. Subscribing's great. Subscribing's wonderful. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching. I'm the Morbid Hobo. Goodbye.